Good morning friends, so today we will be doing the class 3 of anthropology, so I am continuing with this series. Friends, I will be uploading bulk videos, that is in some days I will be uploading 2 and 3, 4 videos, so that it is good for you, you can study in one flow. And these are not the final lectures, remember that this is just for the beginners, it is the base that you have to understand. I am introducing you terms and terminologies of anthropology, because the dictionary is very important. You have to understand certain things what you are dealing in anthropology and why are you dealing it in such a way. Other than that friends, today we will be doing bio, socio, what are the various branches of anthropology. So this will be in two class, class 3 and class 4. In your exam syllabus also this is there and I think what I will be telling you now is more than sufficient for even UPSC exam within these classes. But other than that, there will be a separate playlist after this all classes are over that will be dealing with uh, the next level that is this is the beginners level then the next level how you have to understand anthropology so I don't want to directly jump into some major books and then explain you things that you don't even understand so let us do it from the NCRT I have told you for reference you can just download the Kerala state NCRT anthropology book so I am taking it from there and uh, it is a 11 12 standard book so that will be very easy and you will be very comfortable in that subject so let us begin today class without wasting time and if you have not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe it like it and please friends share it with your friends so that the views can be maximized so that i am also more motivated to make such classes okay so let us start today's class and today we will be talking about the major branches of anthropology so in the last class what we studied in the last class we studied what is anthropology and what is the field work importance of anthropology and what is the bio science that thing of socio importance of anthropology and all those things we studied today in the last class so now what we are going to understand is that as we have now understood that what is anthropology so we have we know the definition of anthropology that is study of man and in this we study about the bio plus socio part of the man so these two is done in a holistic manner so therefore now what we will do now we will tend to study what are the various main branches of anthropology how anthropology is taught mainly in various places or how you also can break down the syllabus of anthropology. So in order to understand anthropology in a holistic nature, it is important to know the various branches of anthropology. To understand the wholesome approach of anthropology, we should know that there are various important branches of anthropology and these must be known to everyone. The branch of anthropology that examines human biological feature is called biological anthropology. So what is basically biological anthropology? So it is that branch of anthropology that examines the human biological feature. So the biological features such as color, genetics, etc. where these types of talks come into. So that falls under the purview of biological anthropology. This also you refer as physical anthropology. Though physical anthropology is not completely biological anthropology, I would say biological anthropology is a subset of physical anthropology. But some places you will be referring it as physical anthropology also. Okay, so physical anthropology and biological anthropology are not same. But in some places they are used with in, in place of one another, though biological anthropology is the subset of physical anthropology. Now coming to the next one, socio-cultural anthropology. So whenever you talk about the socio-cultural aspect of the society, that is the social and the cultural peculiarities of human life that we study under socio-cultural anthropology. So what do we study under socio-cultural anthropology? Whenever, excuse me friends, one minute. There was actually a noise in the background so i don't want to disturb the whole class because of that so socio culture anthropology examines the social and cultural peculiarities so whenever there is a social culture peculiarities when you study about society you study about culture and those things then that falls under social cultural anthropology another area of anthropology of the study of interest is the study of prehistoric culture this is also a part of our syllabus that will be studying in under two heads in the paper one also and paper two also in paper one we will be studying as the evolution of man then phylogenetic status as such that things are mentioned then you will be studying about various homo species then you will be studying about the paleolithic mesolithic neolithic chalcolithic ages and in paper two you will be studying the same in context of india so that is the thing so in this area of anthropology we study about 
prehistoric culture which comes under archaeological anthropology so archaeology is a different subject but archaeological anthropology includes the concepts of anthropology that help you to relate it with archaeology means archaeology and anthropology together form archaeological anthropology linguistic anthropology is another one which focus on the study of language symbols and features of human communication so we will be dealing with four branches of anthropology here what are the four branches the first one is biological anthropology the second one is socio cultural anthropology the third one is anthropology of prehistoric people that is archaeological anthropology and linguistic anthropology the one that studies different type of symbols features of human communication etc now let us begin our class so in this class i will be dealing with the first two that is the biological anthropology and socio cultural anthropology whereas in the next class we will be doing the other two so today we have to study so anthropology includes all four major branches these are major branches there can be more branches you can divide it according to yourself also i have tried to justify the class by using four major branches so the first one is biological anthropology and the second one is socio cultural anthropology so these two we are going to discuss today then coming to the point biological anthropology so can you answer the following questions now think to yourself why do people differ in color why there is a difference in color among people when you see two person they are different in color in india we see a wide varieties of color we see black white green yellow all types of color of people are available even in our gods and goddesses we see krishna was given a blue skin so we see that there is difference in skin color why do offspring look similar to their parents so why there is a similarity of offspring children from their parents how has human evolved so what is the theory of evolution what is the origin of species why like which who, who is the author of origin of species you will write in the comment section so these are certain questions that come and these are dealt by biological anthropology so when we talk about biological aspect of man then we talk under this particular interface in order to answer these questions one should study human evolution and variation so to answer these questions what you have to study you have to study human evolution and variation and this falls under you can say genetics or here we can talk today as biological anthropology so this falls under biological anthropology that is study of human evolution and variation biological anthropology gives us an opportunity to understand physical differences and changes among human so under the segment of biological anthropology what do you study you study the physical differences and changes among human so whatever physical difference exists plus whatever changes exist in human that is studied under the concepts of biological anthropology biological anthropology is the branch of anthropology that considers human as a biological organism so this is the branch of see when you go branch wise we we have heard that social anthropology considers human to be a social organism whereas when we talk about a biological anthropology we just refer man here as a biological organism so this is very important because we are studying the biological status of man as the name indicates it studies the biological and physical characteristics of humans okay so this is basically it is studying the biological and physical characteristics how do you appear what are your genes made up of what was your evolutionary characteristic etc biological anthropology starts with study of origin and evolution of human and analyzes their diversity so basically when we start studying biological anthropology from where do we start we start from the study of origin and evolution of human so whenever you are studying about origin and evolution of human being you analyze their diversity you analyze how did they evolve who came first homo erectus came first homo sapiens came first homo neanderthals came first who came first these all are studied under the concept of biological anthropology it also examines the biosocial adaptation because we have studied it is a biosocial science anthropology so therefore we have to understand that even if when we are studying biological anthropology we will examine certain biosocial adaptations of different human population living in different geographical and ecological setting such as adaptation acclimatization so these are certain tendencies that human beings have when they move from one place to another why people of certain region are fat why people of certain region are tall certain are dark certain are have a lighter complexion while certain have fat lips some have thin lips so there are small hands big hands so all these divergences that you study in human being fall under the percept of biological anthropology the knowledge of different branches of biological anthropology will help us to examine how it deals with human evolution and variation so the knowledge of different branches under biological anthropology what we study will help us to deal with human evolution and variation so how humans appeared on earth how did they grow what was their biological evolution that we will be talking under the concept of biological anthropology 
Paul Broca. Now, see, I have not found this definition anywhere else. No notes, no coaching institute notes have given it. Nowhere I have seen, nor any uh, book or anything I have seen this. So, therefore, it is very important for us to know this definition. So, what is the definition of this? Paul Broca defines biological anthropology as a science whose objective is to study humanity considered as a whole in part in relationship to rest of nature. So, according to Paul Broca, what is biological anthropology? It is the science whose objective is to study humanity considered as a whole in its part and its relationship to rest of nature. So, this is given by Paul Broca. So, this definition, you don't have to go into depth of it. Just note it down and remember it, memorize it. Fine. Now, coming to next one. So, any study of human evolution requires understanding of member primates. So, under the biological anthropology, one more aspect that we study is about the primates. So, any study of human evolution that we do under biological anthropology, it requires an understanding of member primates. Primatology, that is the study of living and extinct primate, also comes as a part of uh, biological anthropology. So, when you study biological anthropology, primatology is one more subject that you will be studying under that. Like there was a definition of primate. So, it was given by Mirwat. Mirwat in 1875, I guess, gave the definition of primates. So, like that primatology also becomes a integral part of biological anthropology. Primates include humans, apes, monkeys and prosamians. So, these are different forms of primates that we will be studying later. No need to worry about it. But what are included under primates, you have to remember. Humans, you know, we are humans. Then apes, gorilla is an example of ape, monkeys, the langur monkeys that we see and prosamians. Different stages of human evolution can be understood by analyzing the fossil evidence of primates. To understand the human evolution, we have to understand from the fossil evidence of primates that how did the primates got evolved and with the help of these fossil evidences we can develop the different stages of human evolution though it is a complex process till now no correct picture has been developed but whatever regards we have we know at least that we started from australopithecus okay so i am introducing another term to you he was believed to be the ancestor of homo sapiens so australopithecus we started from australopithecus and today we are homo sapiens sapiens okay so, human paleontology helps us in this regard. Human paleontology means study of human fossils. So, human paleontology helps us in this regard to understand our own evolution through the study of fossil as well as primatology also helps us to study ourselves with the help of studying living as well as extinct primates. Now, the another thing that comes under biological anthropology is human genetics. So, to understand how evolution works, it is important to know the mechanism of hereditary. Human genetics is a branch of biological anthropology that deals with inheritance and variation. So, under biological anthropology, you will be studying about human uh, genetics and under human genetics, you will be understanding that yes, there, there are certain things because of which evolution has happened, what is the mechanism of hereditary. We will be studying about Mendel's law, we will study about Lamarck's law, we will be studying about the postmodernism in human genetics and many such theories we will be studying about and then we will try to analyze how the evolution of man occurred. Next one is forensic anthropology. So, forensic anthropology is morphological and genetic variations among human help to biological anthropologists to identify individuals, criminals, victims of mishaps, misshapes and natural calamities etc. So, forensic anthropology is one of the most important aspect of applied anthropology where you apply anthropology and you tend to understand that if you have some human being in front of you, so what is the nature of the person? So, it helps us to understand individuals, criminals, victims of misshape and natural calamity. The branch of anthropology specialized in such area is called forensic anthropology. So, basically forensic anthropology makes you, helps you to develop the detective attitude. It helps us to understand how a human being, if you are given a fossil of a human being, you can deduce out of it who the person was. So it, this is a very helpful thing especially in the criminal studies okay a knowledge of forensic anthropology is applied to solve issues related to criminal and legal matter forensic anthropologists are called upon by police and other authorities to identify the remain of murder victims missing cases of people who die in disaster so basically it is the job of a uh, forensic anthropologist who help us to identify if some dead and decayed body is found or any such thing has been found then they help the police to basically do this 
from the analysis of dna hair root blood stains drops of semen blood fluid skills and bone marrow print skeletal remains forensic anthropologists are able to identify such person with some specialized technique they also identify age sex and other morphological features of the victim so therefore for, um, forensic anthropology is one of the most important branches of biological anthropology i can say because it has the most applied nature it helps the people to apply it in daily life it helps you to detect criminals it helps you to identify people and it also because of the certain techniques that are available in anthropology you are able to develop certain important deductions about whatever fossil or uh, whatever remains you find out clear so this is biological anthropology so what we studied in biological anthropology we studied that it helps us to understand evolution and variation and basically in the biological anthropology we studied the biological aspect then we study about the primatology and we study about the different stages of human evolution we even study about human fossils in this and how humans evolved we study human genetics in this under which we will be studying various aspects other than that we study about forensic anthropology which actually is a branch of applied anthropology it helps to apply the concepts of anthropology for greater human good clear now coming to the next one so the next is the social cultural anthropology social cultural anthropology is another branch of anthropology this is very important and after all this introduction is over i'll be starting with this only so social cultural anthropology is study of human society and culture so what do you study under social cultural anthropology you study about human society and human culture it describes analyzes interprets and explains the social and cultural similarities and differences so under social cultural anthropology you will be studying you will be analyzing and you will be interpreting or explaining the social and cultural similarities between cultures and differences between them as well okay so this line is very clear nothing to explain socio cultural anthropology concerns with study of social institutions so you will be talking about social institutions and when we will be doing this we will be doing with help of certain thinkers like family marriage so what is ab tyler's view on marriage or what is someone's view on this so we will be doing through that so as an institution of family marriage kinship <coughs> religion economic organization political organization law and relation between such institutions so basically under socio cultural anthropology we will be studying various social institutions such as family marriage kinship religion economic organizations political organization law and relation between such institutions social cultural anthropology is the study of relation and pattern of life among different types of people so what is basically social cultural anthropology it is the study of relation and pattern of life among different types of people basically it is the study of society that you live in the study is based on facts collected through direct investigation from field using anthropological techniques so in the last class we talked about field work so basically when you go into the study of social cultural anthropology you have to do a lot of field work so that you can collect data from the field and through the investigation from this data from the field you can use it for your purpose of deducing facts theories or you can write certain you can say ethnographic detail of a particular culture so under socio cultural anthropology what do we study we study about culture and society we study the differences and similarities both we study about various social institutions such as family marriage kinship relation religion economic organization political organization law and relation between such institutions we study about the study of relation and pattern of life among different type of people and we study it on based on the facts that are collected through field work study that can happen through participant observation like last class i told you what is participant observation now i am introducing another thinker here to you ratcliffe brown so if you go through the upsc syllabus you will be finding these names there ratcliffe brown gave the school of structuralism okay structuralism so this question comes and uh, in the exam generally and this person he was so like means people don't understand his work so today many of the phd's are done by understanding the concepts ratcliffe brown gave so one of the concepts ratcliffe brown gave is the social anthropology as the natural science of society so what does ratcliffe brown define social anthropology he defines social anthropology as the natural science of society so according to ratcliffe brown what is social anthropology it is the natural science of society see after two to three classes i will be giving a class in which we will be discussing things i will be interviewing your mind okay it is not just reading pdfs but these all things again i will be discussing with you so that it completely sets into your mind where to use for now social cultural anthropology attempts to understand culture as a major mechanism by which human beings adapt to environment so social cultural anthropology takes that 
culture is the way how which human beings adapt to their environment and this helps us to understand the whole study in the, the social culture anthropology helps us to understand the culture that helps the human being to adapt to the environment the study is origin development and diversity as it changes from time to time and manifest among people so they study its origin they study the origin of culture they study the development of culture as well as they study the diversity or the changes that happen in the culture through time and manifest it among people different subfields have emerged in socio cultural anthropology to contribute to the total understanding of culture in all dimensions some of the fields are so within the socio cultural anthropology there are various sub fields that also we have to study and understand so there are different fields that have been appeared and contribute to understanding some of the fields are so the first one under socio cultural anthropology comes is familial anthropology so it makes a comparative study of families so when you study families in anthropology it is called familial anthropology so what does familial anthropology does it makes a comparative study of families of different cultures and societies so under socio anthro socio anthropology cultural anthropology or socio anthropology also i can say what comes so first one is the familial anthropology familial anthropology is the study or the comparison of families of different cultures and society so whenever you study and compare the families of different cultures and society what do you call it you call it familial anthropology it studies the origin of family it forms and functions in different societies so under familial anthropology we study the forms of family we study the various forms and functions in different societies marriage is the basis of family and hence familial anthropology also studies different forms of marriage ways of acquiring meat marriage payments in different societies so under familial anthropology not only you study about the families you study how families are formed and families are formed through marriage so therefore under this we also study what are the forms of marriage whether it is a patrilinear matrilinear patriarchy matriarchy all those stuffs whether what are the ways of acquiring mate whether it is through kidnapping by force by love whatever it is and other than that marriage payment so what is the form of marriage payment whether it is given from the groom to the bride from the bride to the groom as it is in cash or it is in kind like in meghalaya if you meghalaya side if you go the groom has to work in the house of the female before the marriage so that he can get the confidence of the people his in laws so that is one way of paying the bride price so that is the different ways of paying the bride price so these all we study in the familial anthropology clear now coming to next economic anthropology as the name suggest all aspects of culture that are related okay so here what we studied here we studied the economic aspect of the culture the economic aspect play an important role in social organization we know that economic aspect is a very important part of social organization sometimes sudden change in economic sector lead to radical change in the structure and function of other sectors also economic anthropology studies the economic organization of human society ranging from pre literate food collecting economy to model industrial economy so under economic anthropology what do we study we studied the economic organization of human society we studied different forms of like food hunting and fishing economy food gathering economy or sheep rearing economy so these different types of economy we study these different types of economic societies we study and we study how do they get a, there is a interplay between them how their evolution has happened and how they diffuse culture in and around okay so we are studying at different levels we also study about tribal economic system and we study about the modern economic system the next one comes is political anthropology so the administrative setup of prevailing society so under political anthropology what do we study we study the administrative setup that prevails in the society also plays shape in ways important roles in shaping the life of the people so whatever administrative setup you have it shapes the life of the people the branch of socio cultural anthropology which deals with the types and forms of government of a state as well as stateless political organization so whenever you are dealing with the forms of government or how the government or how the administration is arranged whether it is in the form of a state or a stateless political organization it falls under political anthropology now regulations including mores and norms as well as customs and laws nature of sanctions including punishment and reward as also known as political anthropology so under political anthropology you will be studying a wide variety of topics that include the political organization whether it is in the form of a state or whether it is a stateless political organization whether it includes mores or norms whether it includes customs laws what type of sanctions what type of punishments what type of rewards are given these all come under the purview of political anthropology
the next one is anthropology of religion so religion anthropology you can say so beliefs and practices related to supernatural power and forces play an important role in shaping the culture of the group so how does the group interact with the higher force how does it interact with the spirits how does it interact with the supernatural so these all play a very important role in anthropology as well as in the development of culture so that is what we study under the anthropology of religion belief and practices associated with supernatural elements and ritual and performance etc come under the purview of specialized area of this anthropological study so whatever you study about beliefs practices supernatural elements rituals performance like uh, trailer's theory on soul and religion so that all we will study eb tyler so that all fall under the purview of anthropology of religion next comes is socio anthropology eco sorry ecological anthropology so under the ecological anthropology we study the interrelationship between human environment and culture so this is very important topic why because in this recently a cop 26 has happened so in exams ecological anthropology can become a very important question so it basically helps you to study a relationship between human environment and culture environment plays a important role in shaping of culture of the people relationship of culture and environment natives attitude of their relationship with environment etc are studied under ecological anthropology so what all you study under ecological anthropology you study the role of environment in shaping the culture of the people you study how environment affects people and how people affect environment as well as you study what is the natives attitude the tribal's attitude towards their relationship with environment like sacred groove is one example then you see we worship many of the plants we worship the people tree we worship the tulsi so that is one part one aspect of ecological anthropology fine now next is medical anthropology so medical anthropology is concerned with biocultural understanding of human and their work in relationship to health and diseases local beliefs regarding health and disease treatment preventive measures are some aspects of medical anthropology development anthropology now this is one important field the sub field addresses some of the basic concerns of human society in terms of welfare progress and development with ultimate aim to ensure security and decent livelihood for human beings so development anthropology deals with the you can say uh, the you can say just imagine sustainable development goals if you have heard so basically earning a decent livelihood and ensuring security so what all you study under this you study the welfare the progress the development so all these study of human like human development index so when you develop that when undp develops that actually that is the part of development anthropology where you are studying the livelihood the way the people live how the welfare is progressing what is the level of development that all falls under development anthropology hence the question of poverty inequality human welfare social justice human development environment sustainability become a core concern under this specialization so just like undp report of human development index so hdi report now that is all i hdi report that also you have heard i hdi report so i hdi report so under this you we study what we study development anthropology where we study the various aspects of welfare progress equality human welfare social justice human development poverty falls under this concept so i think this much is clear friends so under social anthropology what we studied socio cultural anthropology is basically the study of human society human culture we studied the sames and differences of between them then we study about various forms of institutions that exist it can be marriage it can be religion it can be economic organization law relation with such institutions socio cultural anthropology study of relation pattern among different people and this is done through field work studies then what we come to know about more about this is that ratley brown defined it as a natural science of society also we study the development and diversity changes from time to time therefore under this we study the origin development and diversity now there are various sub fields that we talked about the first was familiar anthropology that is the study of family economic anthropology study of economic system political anthropology study of the political system anthropology of religion is study of religion ecological anthropology is the relationship between human environment and culture whereas the next one is medical anthropology the medical aspect of it and development anthropology deals with the welfare equality social justice these all aspects of anthropological studies these all fall under the purview of socio culture anthropology so i think today's class is clear friends so in the next class we will be doing the other two that is archaeological anthropology and linguistic anthropology so that are the major branches of anthropology and this is this much is only mentioned in your syllabus also so i think this much is clear friends still if you have a doubt do post in the comment section do rate review and recommend the channel and please share it with your friends thank you and have a good day